Hello there. The appalling news coming out of Trudeau's Canada right now should shock us all. The Trudeau regime has now taken on full emergency powers and imposed martial law, powers that bypass all normal democratic process. Trudeau is now targeting the peaceful protesting truckers and their peaceful supporters. He has taken charge of all the money in Canada and is freezing personal bank accounts of people and businesses connected with or funding the protesters, including any blockchain assets such as Bitcoin that he can lay his hands on. And the insurance on protesting truckers' vehicles is being suspended. And the government and banks will now be sharing data to ensure this happens. Corporations tied with the state. Now where have I heard that before? And now he sent the police in clad in full body armour and truncheons to clear the peaceful protesters out of Ottawa. Including the use of horses where protesters were trampled on, including reports of a woman on a motability scooter. Protesters who have already stated that if the police come to arrest them, they will go peacefully. In his book 1984, George Orwell wrote, If you want a picture of the future, imagine a boot stamping on a human face forever. Well, in Canada, their future is becoming one of having a police rider stamping a horse's hoof in their face forever. And the reports coming out of Ottawa will be scant because reporters are being chased away or arrested and only the state broadcaster CBC is allowed to report on it. Now one chilling development for me is that the Trudeau regime does not want to communicate with the protesters except through the use of force. In fact they seem almost pleased about having this opportunity to let loose the horses of oppression. And they have only one aim, to beat the protesters into full compliance, all cheered on by the authoritarians out there who believe dissent is a crime. The Canadian Deputy PM, Christian Freeland, said in a press conference that the truckers must take their semi-trailers home and do legitimate work. What can be more legitimate than protesting against the erosion of your own personal human rights? Peaceful protesters who are rightfully extremely worried about their freedoms in a future Canada. And looking at what is going on in Canada right now, those protesters' concerns have been 100% vindicated. And I look around at the world leaders, and there's total silence. Leaders who would normally stand up and point fingers are silent. Remember the vocal support they gave the human rights protesters in Hong Kong? And now the really big point. What is the justification for such heavy-handedness? These are peaceful protesters. Had the truckers reacted violently to arrest, there would be images and video across the web right now, wouldn't there? Where are the reports of injured police officers? Where are the videos of burning buildings and cars? None. So why the international silence by both politicians and press? What are leaders like Biden and Johnson and Macron and Schultz looking for? Inspiration from Trudeau about how to quell the people? Until they speak up, we should assume they are quietly supportive of Trudeau's actions. Now the authorities are duty-bound by Canadian law to remove children and animals from the care of those who get arrested, who don't have any other means of caring for them. And the animals could be put down as a result in as little as eight days by the authorities. But the authorities have used this as a tool of coercion and turned the wording into a threat against the protesters that we will remove your children and pets. A big nudge operation. So it's great news that the Canadian Civil Liberties Association, the CCLA, has filed court action against Trudeau's use of the Canadian Emergency Powers Act. The CCLA says it acknowledges the impact the protest is having across Canada, but says 
The government's emergency declaration is unprecedented and seriously infringes the charter rights of Canadians. The government has brought in an extreme measure that should be reserved for national emergencies, a legal standard that has not been met. I fervently hope they win this case or Canada is finished as a democratic state. And no leader of a Western democratic nation has even voiced concern over these developments? Shocking. Please subscribe and like this video, buy a mug and support me on Patreon or PayPal. And thank you for watching.